Well, what I could say is that there was a conflict, a very uh, uh, difficult, a very hard conflict between the oil workers and the oil companies. They, uh, the, this was a long process since, uh, let's say, since May 1937 to March 1938 and went through different uh, uh, decisions of uh, labor authorities and finally this uh, conflict reached the Supreme Court. When the court made its, uh, its decision, the companies did not accept what the court had decided. And this uh, changed the quality of the conflict. From being a conflict between the workers and the companies, it became a conflict between the companies and the Mexican state. And what the president had to decide was, uh, should we uh, accept what the companies are pressuring uh, us to do, or must we uh, apply what the law establishes? And this was the decision. But it was not trying to defy imperialism, it was not trying to defy the companies themselves, but only uh, making, I would say, a very uh, difficult decision in those days to uh, apply the law as the law was established in Mexico and make the companies, the oil companies, obey what the Supreme Court had decided. 